And it is a, a story of, of, uh, of survival and reinvention and uh, embarking on something we had no idea what we were stepping into. Uh, when we met, it was in uh, San Jose State University, and we, turned this, we decided uh, when we graduated that we'd turn a bad job market into an, an entrepreneurial opportunity. So we decided that we would uh, start ourselves a robotics company, and we would make controllers for robots. And the only thing we didn't factor in is that we had no experience, <laughs> we had no money, we had no contacts, and a robotics controller is a software and electrical hardware device, and we both just got mechanical engineering degrees. <laughs> so other than that, we were just destined for success. <laughs> but what we did have is parents that were willing to put us up just a little longer and feed us just a little longer, and so we went for it. And uh, what we experienced, as you might expect, was total disaster. We, uh, if you've ever seen in a, in a movie these uh, fight scenes where the hero's down on the ground, bloody and a mess, and he, he's getting up to, to, to throw a couple more punches, and you're saying, no, just stay down, stay down, just stay down. That was what our parents were going through. <laughs> but uh, with, with everything we experienced, we just kept getting up and reinventing ourselves. And some years later, eventually, we had this company competing against multi-billion dollar competitors and global with, with offices from Tokyo all the way to Europe. And, and uh, it, was, it, was, it was basically a, a story of, of reinvention and perseverance. And uh, with, with that, we learned a lot about ourselves and we learned a lot about how important it is to be honest with yourself about what, what Kool-Aid you're drinking and what, uh, not to quit believing what you would like to think is the truth and start believing what's right in front of you. Listen. Uh, so many valuable lessons that uh, we wonder if there's anything left of those two that graduated, uh, wide-eyed, uh, very naive people that graduated from college. But, but we, uh, we stuck with it and, and we used all that, uh, that uh, experience to, to change ourselves. And then we sold Animatics, is the name of the company. Uh, we sold that company to one of our multi-billion dollar competitors not too long ago and had an op uh, a, a new opportunity. And so that's, that brings me to my first of two slides. <laughs> so the opportunity was retirement. <laughs> and this is, this is what I would do with my retirement time. So we would go to the beach to relax. Now we can relax. All those problems are gone. And I would show up to the beach with a shovel and an agenda. I'm going to build uh, dragons, and I build turtles, and I would build dolphins. And you could not stop me. Uh, my, my wife, Panita's mother, who grew up in, in, uh, in India, would whisper to her, does he know they wash away? <laughs> Why is he doing that? And uh, needless to say, retirement was just uh, ridiculously out of the question for me, just not an option. So I had always been wanting to, to explore the possibility of, of bringing my hobby, electric vehicle, electric mobility, to, uh, to the public marketplace, to come out with some kind of product that was not an electric car and not a, like a Segway or something like that, but something that was, that was innovative and could really size to our bodies that could bring us a level of mobility that could really open us up, connect us, get us to the outside, get us connected to public transportation. And this, this uh, equation was in my head. And it was, I call it specific mobility. And it's basically range times speed divided by volume times weight. And how do I drive that equation? And I, I drove it basically to what I, to my new company, uh, which is Hoverboard, hoverboard.com. I'm not here to pr promote Hoverboard or sell Hoverboards. I can't even show you a Hoverboard yet. But I just wanted to let you know what, what led up to this. Two things I want you to, to, to take away from, from my talk here. Uh, one is that I'm totally crazy. <laughs> uh, 
And just as crazy starting this as, as we were uh, years ago graduating from college. And uh, number two, uh, when you see this device uh, next year, when your friend comes up and says, have you seen the hoverboard? I want you guys to be able to say, I, I, I saw that last at, at, the, at the feast. I know that guy. <laughs> so please keep an eye out for the hoverboard, and thank you very much for your time. Uh -huh.